Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is Lake Kate here with another Horse Life video. In today's video, we're going to be ch checking out the Halloween event. Specifically, I'll be telling you guys how you guys can complete this event pretty quickly, all the tips and tricks you need to know to make this a little bit easier on yourself. So everything I'm going to be going over will basically be how to basically complete the Halloween event pretty quickly. Now this is part one of the Halloween event so there will be a part two and every week we'll get more stuff on the Halloween event which I will be going over so make sure to subscribe as I will actually be doing more videos on the event. With that said though let's go ahead and get right into it because we got a lot to cover. So the first thing is if you just joined into the game there will be a little thing in the middle which is the fire pit and you can actually see the event info if you really wanted to see this. Now it doesn't specifically go over a lot of things but it's there if you want it. Now if you go into your event right here because we do now have this little button you can click for events. The quest will pop up the shop as well as the premium shop and souls. The first thing is the quest which we have a quest line here which is a track of quests that you can complete. Now number six used to be a exclusive um, Beetlejuice themed gold steed, but there was a stock of that and it's run out. So if you're trying to get one of those, the best way to get that is from somebody who's actually selling or trading it. So we have in total seven quests to do. I've actually only completed the first one because I haven't been on the game a lot. That's probably why my video is going to be a little bit later than usual, but we do have seven quests to complete. I will be going over how to complete these very quickly. So let's go right into that. The first one we have is the goal saddle. You actually just have to tame five horses and complete three event mini games. So basically you can go up to the pumpkin one which is right over here for that mini game and you can also go to the apple bobbing which is right over here with the kelpie taming to do that mini game. I can't remember if this mini game right here actually considers itself as one of those that actually completes this little quest here but those are the other two mini games that you guys can actually go to to complete that one quest. Now I'm not going to go over taming horses because most of you know how to do that so I have to do is tame five horses and that quest is complete. The next one which is the one I'm currently on is the goal socks which is the second quest. We have purchased two items from the event shop. This is basically where you go to the event and then there's going to be a shop and you basically just purchase anything you want here. Now I would go and actually buy the ghost lasso as it is the cheapest and you won't be getting as many souls at first so I would basically just buy a bunch of these lassos to get that completed for the quest as that's the easiest way to kind of do that and then you have to level up any horse skill five times so basically you go to your horses and what I did is I found one for example pumpkin who's about to level up in strength and I would equip them and use them to level up that agility or strength or whatever you're trying to level up so the best way to kind of do this really quickly is find ones that are close to leveling up that or that are low level and basically just use those and level up their skills now you don't have to do a specific one you can literally just like level up this guy's strength and I could level up this one's fertility and those skills would still count as long as you level them up each level does count so the next quest which is the third one is the gold bridle what you have to do is you have to follow a horse five times and complete six event mini games. So basically what this first one means is that you will breed your horses, say that you have one that is pregnant, which I do. You claim the child and you can keep or sell it, doesn't matter. And then it's going to actually count towards following that horse. So that is what the first one means. And of course, completing six event mini games is doing the mini games, which is the pumpkin one and the apple bobbing. So what I normally like to do for that one is I will go and do the pumpkin one, which I just did and then go all the way over to the apple bobbing and do that one since they do have cooldowns once you complete the mini game they have a cooldown of around 52 seconds so you can either wait but what i like to do is i like to go to the mini games and actually complete this one while that cooldown is happening for the pumpkin one and then make my way toward the pumpkin one when i'm done with the apples so that's kind of what I do to make this go a little bit faster. So this apple designing is actually also part of considering towards this mini game. So if you actually wanted to do this, you can do this as well for the mini game quest here, as well as it does have a cooldown. So once you're done, it will have a minute cooldown that you can just play for fun. You can still play, but you won't get any souls, nor will you get anything for the quest necessarily. The next quest, which is the fourth one, is the Medieval Lance. This is part of the accessories attack for the goal. And this is the lance that you can actually put on the goal. 
So this one you have to actually harvest 20 forgeables and complete 10 events this time. So basically doing the same thing for the bottom one. Keep going to the apple bobbing, then the apple design when there is no cooldown, and also the pumpkin one. And you can do that quest there with the 10 events. To harvest 20 forgeables, what that basically means, as you can see there's apples, you can actually click on the apples and harvest them. And once it's harvest, it will actually count towards this quest here so that is what that means if you were confused for the forgeables i would suggest having a bunch of horses out if not having a bunch of horses out have ones with a bunch of strength so that it's quicker for the harvesting of these forgeables and i would stay towards the lobby as it's much easier to break these little apples and they do count towards the forgeables so it makes it a little bit faster of a progress when you get the apples kind of collected in the lobby so the next quest is the six no, the fifth one, sorry. The fifth one, which is actually a goal steed itself. What you need to do is defeat one boss, which I am actually currently about to do. And then you have to earn 250 souls, which are the currency. You can do this by actually doing mini games, by completing these quests. Basically, any way you earn souls, it will go towards this once you have 250. Then you have to tame 25 horses, which you just go around and tame them, and then you have that quest done. You also do get souls from the boss as well, which I just figured out which i did get 250 and whoa what the heck i'm getting a bunch of good stuff um but yeah you do get souls from the boss so that is also a way to kind of get that mission done is by doing the boss at the same time to make it a little bit faster for the quest so once you get this quest completed you can actually now tame the actual goal steeds so if you find one in the wild you can actually tame them now which is amazing so now we are on to the sixth quest the sixth one is defeat three bosses, earn 500 souls, and tame 100 horses. So basically like the last one, basically you just have to earn the souls, defeat the bosses, and tame 100 horses, which isn't too bad necessarily. I'm gonna go ahead and actually showcase the goal steed, um, and then we'll go on to this one as it does take a little bit to do, and then we'll be on to the seventh quest. So I did find a goal steed in the wild, so I'll showcase the taming of that unless someone else takes it, which I think someone else is taking it, unfortunately. It did kick me. So uh, I will showcase the actual goal steed and the taming methods. Now, goal steeds actually seem to be very common to find in the Equus area, as that's where I've been finding a bunch of them even before I could actually like tame any of them. So I would definitely go in the Equus area and look for these guys, as that's where I found a lot of them. They do have a regular taming system. They're not like phase where they're different or overly complicated, and they don't have any different taming methods to them necessarily. And look, there's another goal steed right in front of us. Like, they're very common to kind of see in the wild, which is kind of crazy. This one's actually pretty cool. It's got like these like blue stripes on it. I might actually keep this one and breed it because look how cool that is. So yeah, that's how you tame them. They're pretty simple to tame, pretty easy, nothing too specific. For the actual breeding of them, you actually have to get the license too, which is the seventh quest and that's what you get from the seventh quest. So make sure to complete all the quests as if you don't, you won't be able to breed them until you have that completed. Okay, for the showcase of the gold steeds, I'm gonna use the these two, one I caught in the wild and the one I got from the quest. It looks like they have an idle animation where they just lay down, which is actually adorable. Like, look at that. That is adorable. And then we have the adult version who's just kind of staring at me a little bit, kind of creepy. They do lay down in their idle animation, as you can see here. He's doing the same kind of thing. Um, I think they do have different animations, so we're going to kind of see their animations and what they do. Um, so this is the trotting. They kind of look the same as all the other ones, but you can see here that the gallop is different. The gallop is definitely different different animations than the regular horses and so is the full-on sprint i'm in love with this animation like this looks so cool i honestly love that they have a unique animation too specifically because they are halloween event horses so they look really cool i really like them i like this style i think this is by far one of my favorite horses but since i kind of showcased most of the stuff for the gold steed and that is a gorgeous rear that's like a gorgeous animation to do but um we're gonna go back to the quest so you guys know what to do for the rest of the quest so the last one which is number seven is the gold steed breeding license this basically makes it so you can actually breed gold steeds right now you cannot unless you have this done so the first one is tame 20 gold steeds you can find gold steeds all around the world as they are in the wild and you can use master lassos you can also use one of the other lassos we have the ghost lassos 
lassos and the undead lassos, which you can also get from doing event quests and also from buying them from the event shop, which is right here. You can see the two lassos. So you can use those to tame the gold steeds. They're pretty easy to tame. Um, and then once you tame 20 of them, you'll be good with that quest. Now it says buy five gold steeds from the spooky stables. So if you don't know where that stables is, it's right over here in the lobby and you can see there's a bunch of gold steeds here and you want to buy five of them from this place and then you are done with that quest as well. Pretty simple, pretty easy. You just got to get a lot of souls because they do cost a lot. So I would suggest buying the cheapest ones even if they don't look necessarily the best but it will save you on souls and you will get this mission done a lot quicker when you buy them from the stables as cheap. So I would suggest when taming the 20 gold steeds for the last quest to do it in a tiny server because look right now I am in a tiny server and look how many gold steeds are just in the equus area alone. I've tamed at least two I think before this so they are pretty common to see in tiny servers. Um, they do chase after you they're kind of like caprins. They will knock you off by the way I did want to put that in there but you can definitely find a bunch of them in tiny servers so if you're looking to do that quest for the last one and taming them definitely go into a small server because they do spawn like a lot in tiny servers and you find them a lot easier necessarily so now that i have all of the quests complete which i actually do now i have the gold steeds breeding license i think that you can find it in your inventory if we look for it yep it is right here in your inventory i don't know if you can necessarily trade these or anything but it is something that's like an item in your inventory that you will have to actually allow you to breed all of your gold steeds so actually i'm going to attempt to breed some of my gold steeds here i kind of want to do whisper with a another one of my other goal steeds so we're gonna look at some predictions and hope for something pretty good like these ones are iffy these predictions but they do look pretty cool I might actually try breeding her with another species that might look pretty cool or it might look cool on the other species because look at that purple on that horn that is insanely cool so here you can see we have a 23 hour gestation time so that means it takes 23 hours to actually give birth to the child of the gold steed so the last thing i kind of want to go over for the event so far is the mini games so the first one we're going to go over is the pumpkin mini game here you will go up to this little thing to hit the start mini game and there will be pumpkins you can collect on the side when you do this you can actually do it on your horse or off your horse you don't have to do necessarily either one you can literally choose whichever one and you go up to these pumpkins and you basically just pick them up with the button it's telling you to use and then go to the stand here and drop them off at the stand there is different values for each of these pumpkins as you can see this normal pumpkin here it costs three points but then if you go over to this little cursed pumpkin over here this one I think is five points since it is tinier than the other ones um, and the bigger they are the more points you have of course that one was six points and then some of them will glow so if they look different or they glow that means they're worth more points I'm trying to get past my horses but they're not letting me this kind of sucks I wish I could go past my horses with these pumpkins um, but yes this one is also I think three points as well so yeah they have different point systems for different pumpkins and you can kind of test that out and see which one that you want to pick personally the easiest way to do this is with your horse I did do it without the horse just to kind of showcase and the more points you get the more souls you get and also I would probably use a horse that has good stamina or good agility so for instance, if I was to use quest, I would have gotten a lot more points and a lot more souls. You also want to make sure to go for the more colorful pumpkins and the bigger pumpkins as they give more points. And you want to focus on those ones more so you get more points in the little time that you do have to complete it. The next mini game is actually the simplest one is the designing of the apples. You can literally just design whatever you want. And if you're just doing this for the game, you can just press whatever buttons. And it doesn't really necessarily give you different outcomes of the prize it kind of just randomizes so you do what I'm doing here just drag it on to the apple and you design it however you want sometimes you will actually get accessories instead of souls from this mini game but this mini game is pretty simple and easy and you get 20 souls almost every single time of completing this quest now this one or this mission uh, this mini game sorry but this one has a one minute cooldown the longest cooldown out of, out of all of the mini games because it probably is the simplest one so that is one to use as well the next one is right over here 
here, the Apple Bobby. This one I think a lot of people don't know about because it's so far away from the other two mini games. But this one is kind of like the Kelpie taming. All you have to do is start the mini game. If you don't have the uh, carrot on the stick or an apple on the stick, you can press this one and it will basically buy, you can buy one for free. And then once you do that, you equip it and um, I don't know why it's not <laughs> letting me equip it. Uh, this sucks. Let me put this apple on the stick here. Give me a second. I'm probably going to get like no points out of this, but it's okay. So once you equip it, you want to make sure, because for some reason it does this, that all of your horses are not taking up all of your storage space. So have like at least one open because it won't let you otherwise. And then once you're done, you can just use this for the mini game. Hit the apples and it's kind of like Kelpie taming. Basically apples instead of Kelpies. Now there is different point systems like the pumpkins. For this one, there is the pink apples, which I'm pretty sure the pink apples are the most rarest ones and they give the most points out of all the apples. And then you just saw the green one I just clicked. That one is like above the red apples. So if you see a green one and you see a pink one, definitely click those as they give more points than the normal apple would. Once you're done, you get souls again. The more points you have, the more souls you get. So I would definitely do this mini game too and do all three of them as that's how you can kind of get all the souls for the quest and also for buying more stuff. So that is basically it for today's video on the Halloween event. I hope this actually helped you guys out and had some sort of information that you didn't know about or some sort of fun facts or whatever the case may be. Now there's going to be more into this Halloween update as the weeks go on. So do expect some more videos from me from the Halloween event and doing some guides and stuff for all the people who do need those guides. As well as if you have any questions, comment down below those questions as I'll be sure to answer them or other people can answer them as well and with that said i hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you in the next one bye